Crime Broads with Crystal and Renee. Like this show and want to make your own? Let me tell you about Anchor. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Now you can even add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless for what you can create, whether it's music analysis, your own radio show, or something the world's never heard before. One of the things I like most about Anchor is they distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Well, hello. Welcome to True Crime Broads. This is Renee and me. It's our first time in an actual podcasting studio. We are so excited to be here today. <laughs> yes, excited and nervous and very different from what we're used to. And we're on camera. That's even scarier. Exactly. So um, thank you so much for joining us. We couldn't be happier to be here at Podcast Suites in North Dallas. If you're local, you might want to check this out if you have a podcast. So far, so good. Everything looks good here. Um, Renee, how are you doing? Good, very comfortable here. Um, just something different. <laughs> I know it's really different. We're usually I'm usually on top of my master bedroom bed in my pajamas, and you're <laughs> out in the garage. So we've come a long way. No, I'm in the kitchen now. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're in the kitchen. In okay, the kitchen, I didn't realize yeah. you had relocated. Yes. So you know, it make, it gives me more room to spread all my notes out and my computer and all that. But um, this is nice. So I think we might want to do this more often. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's well worth it. It'll make us have to plan ahead. That'll be a first. Right, definitely. Um, well, you know, one of the things that, um, as, as most people know, we're coming up on the six-year anniversary. Unbelievable. I know. And we just, we're just we just hoping and praying that this is the year that there's an arrest. I mean, I don't. I, it's going to take, what is it going to take to get an arrest? What is it, I, I, I mean, we're just, we're at a standstill, and we don't want to be at a standstill. No, we have been standing still a long time. Midlothian police is quiet. We respect that, but we would love to know what's going on in the case. I know we speak for the whole public, not just Oh, us. my gosh, exactly. Um, well, I mean, and just give us a little something, you know? Yeah, just a like little something, something. Right. <laughs> um, do you want to just start off like we normally do, just read a review? Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have a review that came in on Google, and we want to thank our wonderful listeners for that. And this was a five-star review. The title of it is Great Job. And it was written by Jay Pfizer 22 and she wrote, or he, this case is mind-blowing. Missy and her family are probably so thankful to you ladies. Keep it up. All right, we appreciate awesome. we appreciate encouraging reviews. They really it do. gives us the energy to keep going Please and it motivates keep us. Them in. <laughs> yeah. We really need it. It really those. does help us keep going. It so really thank does. you. You don't know how important those are to us. Absolutely. Um, and so we have the billboard still going on. Um, and as everybody knows, we are in the process of transferring that over to uh, Crime Stoppers. They are so awesome to be helping us out with that. Can't, can't thank them enough, you know. Yes. They're just so awesome. But we got one more month left where our current billboard is, then it's going to be transferred over to, to them. And they have multiple um, billboards out all across Ellis County. So every other month, it's going to switch over to a different one. That's amazing. Yeah. So that's, that's Crime exciting. Stoppers of Ellis County. They're so fantastic. Oh. They really are. And I know we announced this before, but tell about your new involvement with Crime Stoppers. Oh, it's it's exciting. Um, you know, I kind of just come across that in a kind of a fluke type thing, uh, asking if they could share Missy Beaver's uh, flyer or the thing that we made to, to share it across social media so people would be aware of the case and right. talk about it and hopefully get people sending in tips. So in doing that, um, I got in touch with somebody and um, she asked me to join. They're looking for other people. So if anybody knows, you know, if somebody knows somebody that's interested in true crime or just interested in doing something with the community, Please reach out to us because they're looking for more people. But nevertheless, um, I'm going to be part of, or I am part of the group there now. And um, we just work to make sure that people are calling in tips. People are aware of Ellis County Crime Stoppers, Crime Stoppers of Ellis County. We say it right. <laughs> they're all different. You never know. They kind of vary mm -hmm. in their names. But anyway, but yeah, I'm, I'm real uh, happy to be doing that. Well, that's so cool. Okay, so we don't have any updates in the case, sorry to say. Right. But um, 
We do want to comment on some sort of listeners will get into our Facebook group. And if you're not a member yet, it's called Missy Beaver's Case. Uh, discussion group. Discussion group. It's got a few explanation points at the end. Please look for it. I think we're going to change it back to True Crime Broads, right? Yeah. We had some group drama, so we removed our names, <laughs> but I think we're going to go back. Um, okay, so we had some people pop up recently and say that they are certain that their husband's going to get arrested soon. And it's hard for me to be polite to those people, yeah, but I have to I realize know. not everyone has been following the case as closely as some of us have. And those things are still coming up, and it's disappointing because the family has been through so much. And oh, this, that's true. The family has been checked out every which way. Um, there was flight records, rental cars, eyewitnesses, surveillance camera at the airport. This is for Randy and the, Brandon. The cell towers. They the pings, pings. Yes. Phone records. Um, I mean. Brandon was with several guys uh, in this annual fishing trip. So there's no way he could have snuck from that remote place they were to come back to Midlothian to do anything. So anyway, I think the family's been really put through the ringer. And we were just kind of sad to see that's where people are still going. But I guess that's just going to happen. It is. Um, you know, and, and another thing about it is, is if they're not thinking that he could have possibly been physically there, that he, they think that he paid somebody. Right. Um, and I mean, I feel like... That would have definitely been uncovered by now. You know, there would have been some exchanges of money or some big amount of money that was removed, you know, taken out of their account or something. That would be impossible to conceal. Yeah. Not that many people would have that kind of cash laying around. And it's just uh, they would have figured it out Nobody's by now. going to do it for free. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you think about it, those murder for hires, those always tend to be kind of goofy. You know, they're not like in the movies. When you mm -hmm. see them in real life, it's some goofball that slips and says something and he gets put in jail and then the person that ordered the hit gets put in jail. So we don't feel like that has anything to do with this case, but we will be respectful of your opinions. <laughs> yeah, um, for sure. Well, and then we always, and then we have the Randy Beavers, you know, everybody says that. And the thing about him is, is it's always about the gate. And m this is my thing on the gate. There's a thousand million people that have that gate, you know? Yeah. There's a lot. I mean, we've heard somebody's neighbor, this guy at my job, my cousin's brother or my cousin's, you know, friend's brother, whatever. There's always somebody that mm -hmm. walks like that. So you can't just go, that's him because of the gate, you right, know? we right. got to have something else. Yeah, and exactly. we don't have anything else. <laughs> so many people walk that way. I just think it's kind of unfortunate. Then when we've talked about this on previous episodes, when they went to the police station to state their case about, hey, listen, this whole thing about the shirt that was dog blood. Anyone following the case knows what I'm talking about. That right. trip to the dry cleaners. Um, they were up there talking to the media because they knew the media was starting to flock around their homes. Mm -hmm. So they got up there to try to get ahead of it. And unfortunately, it made it a bigger deal. Right. And then Randy, this is about the gate. He turns around and he kind of limps away on camera. Yes. And the whole world saw that. And everyone said, whoop, there's the perpetrator. There it is, right yeah. there. How yeah. stupid would you have to be to go get on TV and <laughs> walk like that? I yeah. mean, it's not him. I right. mean, he it's was not. he was proven to be in Southern California at the time of the murder. And we do not believe um, people, when they get a perp in their minds, they won't give up. Remember the story we saw where people were saying, well, he could have had his cell phone fly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Put it on a plane, send it over there. And then, you know, I guess, I don't know how you get it back, though. How do you get it back? Yeah, how do you just walk up and go, hey, I had my cell phone flying alone on this flight. Could you go get it? <laughs> well, you know, when Christy said that she called her dad and couldn't get a hold of him because it was really early in the morning. Yes, yes. And in California, it's two hours earlier. Right. So couldn't get a hold of him. And then finally he answers the phone. Wait, how did he answer the phone? If it flew by itself to right. Texas. Yeah. yeah. So there's that. That's a good point. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's our first time in the studio. Sorry for acting weird. Um, yeah, it is different. What else? Do I we like want to it cover? though. I love it. Yeah. I, 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 you know, people complain about our sound quality, and there we go. And occasionally, no more not, it's gotten better. But I, I expect at least five great com comments about this. Yeah. <laughs> this episode, we're talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyhow, anyhow, so yeah. We have a, a new place that you can leave us reviews. Spotify. They That's just, so exciting. I'm so just, glad you figured that they out. They just started that. But 
actually, I don't think you can do reviews like where you write something. I think it's just ratings. So you can click on five stars, please, um, if you're enjoying the show, of course. Exactly. Um, we want you to be honest, but we would prefer five stars. And yes. um, it helps us. It helps us get listeners. It helps us bring awareness to Missy's case. It really does. And um, it really does. It helps the algorithms. I'm not really sure how that works. But when you're searching for a podcast and it has a lot of five stars, apparently it bumps them up a little bit in exactly. the search. Exactly. So that would help us a lot. Well, and there's a lot of people that uh, we have a lot of supporters in our groups and in, in our group and also just in general that love Missy, friends with her, worked with her. So there's so many people that um, care about this case and care about this person being brought to justice. So, right. you know, just just help us out if you can. Keep it going because our mission here is to keep this thing going. Yes. Until the person is brought to justice, of course. Right. Well, and then we'll probably still keep going. <laughs> oh, we're going to keep going. Honestly, yeah. When there's an arrest, I feel like that's when this thing's really going to heat up. Yeah, absolutely. Because then we're going to know exactly who the perp is and watch the judicial process hopefully unfold in a favorable way. Let's talk about the untargeted and the targeted. I know we've talked about oh, it several this is, times. This is like a true crime broad's greatest hit show. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. Okay, so Recap. <laughs> un- untargeted versus targeted. I'll let you start. Oh, gosh. Okay, so... Of course, I think targeted. I mean, and I'll tell you why. It doesn't mean I'm right, but this is just my opinion, of course. Um, Targeted, you know, the person is has so many options of ways to go about killing somebody, but they're there walking around the church, and they're and people are saying, well, they were you know burglarizing it or whatever. Well, they didn't do a very good job, and they broke in, but they didn't take anything. They didn't, and then there was that one door in the very beginning of the video. The surveillance video where you see the person just kind of like turning the handle and then they kind of tap on it a little bit. I mean, if I mean, I'm no, you know, bad person, but if I want to get in somewhere, I'm going to get in a door. You know, mm-hmm. I'm going to do more than you just would have tap. put forth more effort. Yeah. So, I mean, that right there mm-hmm. enough tells me that it's it's targeted because they're not even trying. I agree with you. The activity from the time we first see them on camera mm-hmm. until. Missy and sees this loser. That time is spent sort of meandering around. Right. A burglar would want to make the most of that time. Yeah, because they I mean, would be looking for and, or a vandal. Like when Cheryl McCollum. If you haven't heard the True Crime Broads episode with Cheryl McCollum, please go back and listen to it. It's from early 2021, January. Good episode. She's phenomenal, and she has way more experience than the two of us put together. And she said, "There's no way that was untargeted." Right. They were there waiting for Missy. There was just no damage done right. to speak of. There was a little tiny tapping on things and messing Breaking with. Breaking up some glass. Yeah, it broke a couple of windows. Doors. Nothing big. Yeah. yeah. And um, 28 minutes. They that's had a to long do something. Time. Well, that we know of. It could have been longer than that, you know? Yeah. That's Seriously. what we were told. So, so, yeah. 28 minutes. That's quite a while to do they some could, damage. She said they could have broken pipes and that place would have been flooded. Flooded, yes. Um, they could yes. have. They could have done a lot. I could have done a lot, especially with the tools. So they have, mm-hmm. like, the fake SWAT gear, and they've got – you can't really see what all they have in their hand, but they're pulling out something, putting something back. Looks like a crowbar, maybe a hammer, maybe – I don't know. But anyway, enough that you could have really did some damage. So A lot of damage, right. Yeah. So um, we don't believe – you can probably tell that Renee and I think that that person was there waiting for Missy Beavers. Right, exactly. That was planned. Absolutely. Now, another part of the planning – that comes into play is how long was it planned? I know that early followers of this case said, wow, this was planned for months and it was well thought out. And I personally, I'm not sure we stand on this, Renee. We haven't talked about this in a while. I personally don't think it was planned for that long. I think this was more impulsive. Yeah, probably so. I mean, I think that they, if they wouldn't have been covered from head to toe, they probably would have, um, been caught by now obviously Mm -hmm. um but i think that they made a mistake we just gotta the police have got to figure out what it is but i don't think they planned it a long time ago yeah i I think that they had easy access to that gear i think that's one of the reasons people think it was so well planned they're thinking oh they had to get that outfit together they had to order it on ebay or some other yeah. yeah some other way but i really believe that this person if you just look at criminal cases criminals are kind of lazy, and they tend to use what they have access to. I don't remember ever seeing a case where someone ordered the outfit to do the crime in 
and waited for it to arrive, <laughs> right. you know, and then they put it Hope together. It gets here in time. <laughs> yeah, you know? I really feel like this person has some connection to law enforcement, whether it's a spouse or some family member that's close enough where they could grab it. Right. Yeah, because I would have had, I mean, we did an episode on um, coincidences and we did one on. Uh, how lucky the perp got yeah. this would be an additional lucky because i mean i order stuff from amazon all the time i hate to admit that but it's true because it's just so easy you know you just order it and be there in a day or two and i can just see it coming late or not fitting or oh mm. man i didn't mean to click that size yeah. or what, yeah. you know so or oh, they send you the wrong one yeah. i've gotten the wrong thing from amazon before yes so, yeah exactly yeah so. you can't yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me, especially I wouldn't think they'd want that kind of a paper trail for something as unusual as SWAT gear. Exactly. Or well, yeah. that helmet. You yeah, because yeah, you can't pay cash. <laughs> yeah. And there's that, you know, there's that connection. So, yeah. Now, we do often have people in our discussion groups say, hey, you can get that gear anywhere. Yeah. And you don't have to be a cop. Right. That's true. Just go down to a store and just walk in and say, hey, I need that. You know, SWAT gear, jacket, or police. And you whatever. never know. Maybe the perpetrator had a relative that sells that stuff. Maybe their relative's not in law enforcement. Maybe they sell but tactical gear. The helmet doesn't even look like a police helmet. Hey, listeners, we would love your comments. Um, what do you think about the helmet? We have seen so many comments over the years. Some people say they think it's a paintball helmet. That's true. So I would love to hear people's input. And if anyone out there says, oh, I've seen that kind before, I know exactly what it is, please let us know because yeah. we're still trying to figure that out. Right. We went back and forth, and I don't even remember now what, when we last talked about it, what we were, what we were, you know, saying that this is probably this one. Mm-hmm. But I do, at times when I'm looking at the surveillance video, I feel like I see different, I don't want to say different types of helmet, but it it it's kind of weird you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying especially when they put the um the light the light on the mm-hmm. helmet mm-hmm. anyway it just it's hard to tell so yeah y'all please let us know what you think cuz we're kind of yeah that's one piece of the puzzle that we're not clear on at all so right. but i'm sure the experts know i'm sure that mpd knows whoever did the um you know something we've been trying to get a hold of and we haven't yet we're working on it for a future episode is we're trying to get the reports that were done on the surveillance video Mm -hmm. it was sent off to the church video was sent off to a lab a state-of-the-art lab that was pretty new at the time it was less than a year old at the tarrant county district attorney's office Mm -hmm. contacted them last week and they said we don't have those reports here so i'm waiting to hear back on where the reports are so we can do an open records request and see that hopefully but that would be interesting to see of course i'm just saying after they have enhanced that video i don't believe they have released any of the enhanced video to the public, and I assume that is part of what they did at that lab, that they right. they can do things to make the contrast higher and see things in more detail. That would be interesting to see. I'm not really expecting them to send us the enhanced video, but I would like right. to see the report. You know, like this technically is what's different about seeing it enhanced than the grainy video that we see. Exactly, yeah. And and to see more of it, because we're when they first released a uh, the video on the news, it was eight seconds. Mm-hmm. And then it went up to 20 seconds. And then it went to two minutes and 20 seconds or something like that. I can't remember the third one. But anyway, two minutes and 20 seconds out of 28 minutes. So can we get another piece? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think it would really help to see, um, like we talked about in the past, um, the purpose seen leaving the same way they come in. Okay, let us see that. Like you said, they're going to be going in a whole different mode than mm-hmm. they were when they were, you know, meandering around, walking real slow, putting their fingers along the wall. They're going to be doing a whole different, you know, I got to get out of here quickly. So we want to see that. And when I have brought that up in the past about the perpetrator scene exiting, going down the hallway, presumably to exit the way they came in, I'm saying they, I don't think it's a group of people. I'm saying they because I don't know, I don't want to say he or right, she. Right, exactly. Um, so we don't know which way they came in, but it, they presumably the way they exited is the way they came in is what I was trying to say. And um, it would be interesting to see that, but whenever I bring it up, people always say, well, that probably doesn't really exist because when Captain Spann, who's no longer with MPD, but when he said that in that first press conference, mm-hmm. um, he hadn't seen the video yet. He was going off of reports from oh. his his coworkers. Okay. So I don't know, you know, so many people have said, well, maybe that was it. You know, maybe it doesn't exist. But 
it seems pretty detailed though that he would say that. I feel like somebody who saw the video. Well, yeah, somebody that had to have told him that in order, yeah. in, my, in my opinion, for him to say it because that's you're saying something with confidence that yeah. you're not sure of. You yeah. know, you, looks like he would have said, "Well, we're thinking that he left the same way, or they left the same way they come in." But anyway. right, and that they have video of that of them going down the hallway. That's only been mentioned that one time, right? That we're aware of. Yeah. Yeah, it would be, you know, I mean, I hate to keep comparing it to Delphi, but Delphi, yeah, Delphi did a lot of, uh, and I, they still are, um, releasing, you know, little tidbits mm -hmm. and giving people something else to look at, something else to, you know, hopefully, oh, wait a minute, you know, that type mm -hmm. of thing. So I just really wish that MPD would do the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> that would be amazing yeah it really would i mean it would help because we're, we're 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 working and everybody is hoping for the tip that breaks this case wide open yeah well we need something else to go on yeah. we need something else to look at seriously we do um okay so yeah the six-year anniversary is right around the corner there's going to be Hopefully some reports about it. It seems like every year they do a little less, the media, when mm -hmm. I say they. Yes. Um, they do a little bit less. So we're hoping that maybe for the sixth year there will be a good presence that will help remind people. Because I still meet people all the time, you probably do too, that say, wow, was that not solved yet? I know. You yeah, know? They, they're completely uh, you know, oblivious that it's just been stalled, you know? Yeah. I mean, the police are still working on it. There's a full-time investigator, and then there's uh, a couple, there's probably, what, two or three now? I think. That work on it mm -hmm. continuously, but, I mean, if they have nothing else to work on, you know, what, they, they need, we need something. We need a tip, so. Yeah. That's, that's what we're doing here. And, of course, if you're out there and you know anything about this, or even if you think you might know something that's just maybe slightly, you know, there's that might slightly have something to do with it, but you're not sure. Don't be embarrassed. Please call in your tip. There's also the P3 app that you can download on your smartphone. And I assume you can put that on your iPad too, right? Yes. Okay. Get I think you can even use do it on the website. Okay. Yes. So it's a P3 app, like P is in Polly, and then the number three. And it is a product that Crime Stoppers came out with. And it's a way to be completely and totally... Um, anonymous. Right. So they can't contact you. They can't call you nothing. So that's the way to do it if you're a little concerned. Yeah. And then and, and one of the, and it's not something that people focus on, but it is an incentive. Uh, Crime Stoppers always offers a, a reward and every Crime Stoppers is different. So each city, county, whatever, they're going to have different rewards. But Crime Stoppers of Ellis County, they re, they uh, give a reward up to $1,000 for a tip that leads to an arrest or conviction. So that's always good. And they can't even give it to you until you check back in with them with your code or whatever they give you. And you're still anonymous. You're still anonymous. Don't have so, a clue. Um, so really, in this case, there's $150,000 in reward money. In, but in, if, independent. If, so they would maybe get another 1000 through Crime Stoppers? Yeah, through, wow. through Crime Stoppers. So 151000 right. technically. Yeah, technically. And would they have to go through Crime Stoppers? They couldn't yes. go directly to MPD. Okay, yes. that's an important distinction. Okay. Right. Yeah, to get the 1000 uh, the 150000 that's an independent that's regardless. reward between yeah. several different people. Um, so that would be independent. But, you know, just we just want to make sure people know about the anonymous mm. uh, option because, right. I mean, I can imagine if I knew about a crime, I wouldn't want to just be you know, call other people up, hey, it's Renee, you know, <laughs> I know this, yeah. and that's the way most people feel, so. Yeah, and I think a lot of people out there may have their own legal problems, and maybe you like to smoke a little pot sometimes, and you're thinking, I don't want to talk to police. Right. I get it. They don't care. Get on that P3 app. Yeah, they don't Yeah. Care. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the, the um, uh, Amber Hagerman. Yeah. The little girl that, that died, I think it was Arlington. Um, there was, uh, the police went out to talk to people that were close to the parking lot where she was uh, riding her bicycle. And there was um, quite a few families that weren't American citizens that lived in the neighborhood. They wouldn't even open the door. So they had to let them know, we are not here to Arresting. deport you, oh arrest gosh, you, or anything. Yeah, yeah. We just want to ask you questions. And they were very, very hesitant. But I think they finally got some trust in them. They're like, we're not mm, interested in this. Yeah. We just need you to tell us, did you see a vehicle driving around? You know, whatever, the little girl. So I just remember hearing that. And I remember thinking that would be perfect for some, you know, because they were nervous. You know? Absolutely. That's an interesting point. Yeah. It makes sense. 
hopefully out there we'll start getting some P3 app uh, tips come in. That would just be amazing because um, I actually put in a P3 app tip because partially I wanted to see how it works, but I actually really had information. We're encouraging someone to come forward that came to us with information. And just understand when you come to us with information, we really appreciate it, but we're going to facilitate you to go to Crime Stoppers or to MPD. You know, th- there's literally nothing we can do with that tip because right. we're not, obviously, I think it's obvious we're not law enforcement and we're not part of the actual investigation. So please understand that if you're out there with a tip, we love hearing from you. And if, if you feel safer telling us, that's great. But we will encourage you to take that next step, right. either with us or without us. Absolutely. Yeah, we do get a lot of people who message us their you know, thoughts and stuff. And, and we do appreciate that. Um, you know, because it helps us to know that people are still paying attention. People are still listening. People are really still um, desperate to to, you know, keep the, the case going along. Because, right. you know, when people get silent, it goes silent, you know. It does, yeah. They move on to other cases because Missy's is not the only case. There's quite a few um, in, in Ellis County that, that are needing, obviously, to be solved, and those are important as well. We're going to start trying to cover some of those. We're so solved. obsessed with the Missy Beavers case. We So hard. We have not successfully brought new cases to our listeners in a while so right. we need to get back to that i agree right it's just hard because we <laughs> we're so focused on this one it's kind of our uh passion you know that's how we got started so exactly yep that's exactly how we got started um you know and 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 sometimes our group people will ask me i actually had a couple people reach out to me and say is, it, is the group still around is what's going on is did something happen you're talking about the facebook group right and um and i'm like no nothing's wrong we just haven't had anything to say so um anytime y'all have something that y'all want to ask feel free to post on there we've had some people posting here lately but are are asking questions and so forth but it's it sat there for a while and didn't do anything so i think people were getting nervous and we're like no we're still here we just we didn't want to keep saying the same thing over and over but you know it's hard because we've been through this for going on six years and we feel like we've covered everything, you know? And then some. And then some. So. And we've we've been accused of repeating ourselves. But, you know, that's what happens when <laughs> there's no new information in a case. We do do our own digging, and we will continue to dig, but we don't. It, we're limited to what we can report. Right. And we love having guests on. If you're out there and you are in any way affiliated with the Missy Beavers case or law enforcement, and you would like to be on as a guest, please contact us. You can find us on Instagram at True Crime Broads. Um, Facebook, we have a Facebook page, which is True Crime Broads, and then the Facebook group we've been talking about. So please let us know if you would like to be on. We, we're desperate for guests. We love having guests on. Yeah, because they there's things that they know about, obviously, that we don't, like the door guy or an investigative uh, police officer or, you know, just all these different things. We don't know anything about how that kind of stuff works. So we right. want them to inform y'all and talk about it so we can kind of relate it to the case so and we are constantly trying to get people on we had um the door guy for example didn't come on but we did get the uh the um security surveillance guy Mm -hmm. um we've just had people uneasy and about talking and that makes sense so we don't push we just ask once and if they say no we say okay if you change your mind let us know so please don't think we aren't trying we are we've been declined several times right and one of the things that um i wanted to talk about too there's a couple times that we've had ideas about a podcast where people um you know send in their voice uh, send in their questions uh vocally over the anchor app Mm -hmm. and we we haven't gotten really a response with that you don't have to leave your name but i thought i might do a twist on it at some point um maybe they could ask they could um we could ask the question they they could ask the questions and we could wait we could ask the questions and they could answer there we go that's what i meant to say sorry got myself confused (laughs) but anyway put a little twist on it you know i thought maybe that Mm -hmm. might be interesting but if if you have a podcast idea for us something that we can cover again that maybe was interesting to y'all let us know we're we're open to that too absolutely because you can imagine we've been at this over two years now and we run out of material after a while when there's no news in a case, absolutely zip zero news being yeah. released. I mean, MPD is not talking the media. I don't know if the media stopped asking or what happened, but it's just crickets. Exactly. So, yeah, I agree with you. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. It makes it very hard to come up with something interesting. And, and of course we can, there's a gazillion other cases we can do and we're going to start doing that. But we, we always feel bad because we started this because of Missy and, you know, but it, it you know, 
I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. We can only do so many, so many different twists on, on this case. So, right. We have really talked it out. Our six years of research continues. Um, we're not going to stop, but we do go through dry spells. That's why we haven't released an episode yet for March. Right. So. Yeah. We've had some good guests on and, um, it's just been hard to find anybody else. Uh, there's a few people that we've reached out to and they told us no. Absolutely not. And we have some important people, you know, that would be really great guests that have read our messages. We can see that on social media, you know, you can see they read it, but they didn't respond. We've had a couple of those lately. Right. We're still knocking on doors and trying to find people to get on. So please don't give up on us. We just had a little dry patch. Exactly. How long have we been? Um, We've been at this for 35 minutes now. What else do we have going on? I don't know. (laughs) We might be done with our episode. Oh, yeah. um, what else do we have? Um, I guess we would just like to encourage everyone to keep active on our pages. We frequently have people say, how can we help? Oh, yeah. One way you could help that won't cost any money is to share our podcast on your social media. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're in any kind of true crime groups, if you could share our podcast with those people. Absolutely. Um, tell people about Missy's case. Mm-hmm. Um, direct her to our podcast if they want to learn all the details. And that's really the main way, because we get that a lot. How can we help you? How can we help you? And that would be it. If you could just help us spread the word about Missy's case and then drop a link to our podcast. Yeah, absolutely. Um, You know, just, you know, you you probably have a lot of people on your actual friends, you know, Liz, family and friends that have the same interest as you. Uh, Because I know me and my my daughter and my stepdaughter, we all love true crime. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sharing it with them, my my daughter listens, my stepdaughter listens. So share it with the people that you know, you know, share it on on your social media. And then they'll be like, oh, I had no idea this was here, you know, because they can listen. And you never know how that will, you know, multiply to get other people uh, that may know something Mm -hmm. or knew somebody or something. We have a lot of listeners in the Ellis County area. so Right. And if you're in the Ellis County area and you knew Missy personally, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. Um, even if you know nothing about the case, we love hearing from Missy's friends and um, people who were acquaintances with her, like Renee is. Right. Yeah, just knowing what, um, what you know, she did on the day-to-day basis, you know, because she did thrive. Now, we've never uh, went in that direction with the podcast uh, as far as what Missy did. Mm-hmm. You know, we just focused on the Camp Gladiator because that's – what she what she was doing when she was killed but i mean that was also a big part of her life so if yeah. you were if you see some of that, those pictures we've posted of missy she's mm-hmm. got a thrive patch on her arm right. which is a nutrition company i guess those are mm-hmm. putting vitamins Supplements. in your bloodstream mm-hmm. or something right yeah that would be good uh, i know she had a lot of friends that were in that and um that would be something yeah if anyone worked about. thrive with missy please come forward you know coincidentally um, that fool Chris Watts, his wife did thrive. Mm-hmm. I think she recruited him to do it with her to some extent. Yeah. So yeah, he always did the, the photo shoot with her. And, a know, lot of patch. people have said, Hey, there might be a connection between those two murders because of thrive. And I really don't think so. I think it's a coincidence. Thrive has who knows how many people that sell it. It's a big yeah, it's MLM. Just, I think it's just that type of person that's real outgoing and yeah. real, you know, a go-getter type right. person because that's the way Shanann was. She was real go-getter. Right. And, Shanann Watts, And right. she loved doing her little videos. And, oh, gosh, those things just brought me to tears. <laughs> we did do a couple episodes on the Chris Watts case. That's a tough one. It is. It really is. I had to stop researching it. I mean, Missy's case is very, um, very disheartening, of course. But those two little girls, that's oh, yeah. a whole other story. <laughs> Kids involved takes it to a different level. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, but, yeah, we're still at True Crime Broads interested in seeing this case get solved. That's pretty much all we think about. And we're hoping that someone will come forward. I think that with us doing this um, actual episode in a studio, um, we've been talking about doing this forever about doing a like a zoom doing it the right way yeah yeah video instead of just audio so we're we may be uh gonna do a small little zoom and we're gonna put it on tiktok Mm -hmm. because tiktok is really popular Mm -hmm. and people believe it or not actually do short pieces of podcast on tiktok which Mm -hmm. i think is real interesting so um yeah we're gonna try to do that so if y'all have any tips for us feel free to let us know (laughs) Mm -hmm. because I'm definitely not um, TikTok uh, 
smart, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't. I need to take the one hundred and one or <laughs> yeah, really the class because I I don't know much about it. But anyway, I do know that it's pretty good about uh, getting a large reach. So yeah, that would be great for Missy's case. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, start doing that. We also have Twitter that I'm not very active on anymore because I don't know much about tweeting. But Crystal just uh, got has it where it's set up to. Then then one of our posts go straight to. Twitter? It did, but it stopped doing that. Oh, I need gosh. to figure out why. It Dang goes it. to Facebook, but the Twitter one went dead, okay. so I got to well, see what changed. Yeah. It's our Instagram, and when we post on Instagram, it feeds to Facebook, which is great. Right. Saves us time. Right. But it quit going to Twitter, but yeah. it was only a link anyway, so yeah. it wasn't like it was the That's greatest. True. That's true. Well, anyway, I posted something there the other day, so they're probably going, wow, something from True Crime Rods finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyone that's following us is yeah. probably like, wow. Right. But I mean, we're just struggling, but uh, we're not going to give up. We we just have our little lull, you know, and and we're going to get back at it. Um, yeah, we're, but, we are we are trying every day. It's just lately things haven't come through that we've been asking people to come on, and we've been um, trying different things, and so far they haven't worked out. But that's okay. Yeah. We've been through we've been through droughts before. We'll get through this, and we have. we'll have an amazing guest before we know it. I'm sure. Yeah. One of the good things about um, our listeners um, and the people that are in the groups, they are so good about supporting us. Mm -hmm. So um, we we had that we we told everybody about we have one more month left uh, for the billboard, and then we're gonna we have to pay for the artwork for the new one for Crime Stoppers, yes. and everybody just just, I mean, pulled together quickly and just started donating money. We still have a little bit more to go. Um, do you remember what I told you? I've um, forgotten, but it's it's not much. So I'll update everybody. Oh, $333. I remember now. Okay, good. I emailed okay. it to Jennifer. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, so that's all we have left, which is amazing because this time... And that's time, for good, right? Yeah, Because now Crime Stoppers is taking over. We are so glad. What a relief. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> We've I'm been begging for money for so long. <laughs> I know, you feel bad. You're like, I hate to keep asking for... I mean, Christmas was the worst. I thought, oh God, I hate asking for money. And people just still did it. And I was mm -hmm. like, man, these people are awesome. We have the best that listeners. That just shows how much... Missy was loved, and, and of course the community, and, and what a group, great group of people. I meant to say great group of people. There we go. Uh, we have yeah. working with us, so we're yeah. super thankful. I mean, for that. we get not just from Ellis County, but we've got wonderful listeners all over that send in money for the billboard. We so do. nice. There's yeah. George, Dale, yeah, we have, Shannon. They mail checks from out of state. Yeah, Stephanie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We've got people in McKinney, and, and yeah. then, of course, like you said, New York, and. Um, Alabama, Alabama, yeah, yeah, yeah New York, yeah. It's we got really we, nice. they come from a lot of different places, so that's awesome. Yes. Um. So, I guess we're gonna ask y'all to um, if whatever social media you prefer, you know, go on there and make sure that you share our uh, page or our Instagram, whatever it is that you like. Like, I'm not an Instagram person; she is, so that works out <laughs> great for me because I'm more Facebook. I sort so, of am. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're much better at it than I am. Yeah, maybe share one of our posts to your Instagram stories. That's just a one-click kind of thing or tag us in something. And yeah. we could really use some more followers, and we could certainly use some more listeners and some more eyeballs on Missy's case. Yeah. So. Oh, and here's another thing I wanted to talk about. Did I already mention the, the, uh, vo the uh, sending in a – okay, anyway. Well, I, I can't remember what I was going to say. But if we, when we post stuff, we, we, we need some more interaction – you know, mm -hmm. we need, uh, cause everybody's constantly messaging us, asking us to, you know, when are you going to do a new episode? When are you going to do this? And we, we can do that, but we need your help. Mm -hmm. We need y'all's, um, you are good at supporting us, but not interacting with us as far as our episodes. So mm -hmm. y'all can help us out with that. That'd be great. And on Spotify, I think you can, or on Anchor and Spotify, you mm -hmm. can interact. I think I put a couple questions after some oh, of our episodes yeah. if you want to respond. We're just looking for anything to work off of because we do get into these spells where nothing's happening in the case and we can't find anyone to come on. Yeah. Eek. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's been it's been really tough. But anyway, we're 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 super glad to keep doing this and we can't wait until this thing is solved. That's going to be great. Can't and wait. we've had many people ask us if when it's solved, are we going to stop the podcast? And no, Heck no, it's going to just be getting <laughs> ramped up because yes. we'll have a whole trial or a 
plea agreement or something, yeah, you know, something absolutely. to cover. It'll be dramatic after there's a uh, arrest, no doubt. And then we're also going to have all the doubters are going to say they got the they wrong got the person because <laughs> everyone's got their perp that right. they think it is. And I, okay. I think an arrest probably won't slow a lot of those people down. Mm-mm. So even if I was 100 percent wrong, I, I really don't care. I just can't wait for them to be arrested. Right now, if, if they went and arrested, you know. Randy or something. I was yeah. like, wait a minute. That you, won't happen. You take it to the wrong person. No, they're not going to do that. I'm just kidding. But yeah, so I, we can't wait for that to happen. But anyway, um, so I guess that's all we have. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot more to say. Um, so thank we've you so long much. Enough. Yeah, we have rambled <laughs> long enough. Thank you for tuning in. And we're so excited to be in a studio. We're going to do this more often, like what, once a month maybe? Yeah, that'd be good. We can try that. So thank you for tuning yeah. in to True Crime Broads. And if you don't mind following us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, all that kind of stuff. If you feel we deserve it, please leave us a good review on Apple and Spotify. Absolutely. We we look forward to uh, hearing from y'all and um, we, we can't wait to do this again. Yep. Thanks for joining us at Two Crime Broads. Thank you. So we are stu- so we are super excited to tell y'all about She's Birdie. It's a personal safety alarm made for women by women yeah they're colorful alarms they have a 130 decibels alarm and a flashing strobe light that's designed to deter any attack and these would make a great gift for everyone whoever that important woman is in your life i would highly recommend getting one of these and you can also use our discount code oh absolutely the best news is is we're going to help y'all get a discount Well, there's five colors to choose from, and She's Birdies will give you 15% off. Uh, They're partnering with organizations that support women's safety. So they're letting us offer our listeners 15% off. All you have to do is you enter True Crime Broads 15. So it's True Crime Broads spelled out 1-5 at checkout, and you'll get the discount. Yep. Just go to www.she'sbirdie.com when checking out.